is working to help chemo patients protect their families from the drugs that pass through their body after an infusion. Unfortunately, there's about 25 of really excellent life-saving chemotherapy drugs that exit the patients intact in the two to five days after infusion. And these drugs cause cancer, birth defects, and miscarriages in others. If they get into the wastewater treatment, the wastewater system, they cannot be removed, nor drinking more of your For example, cyclophosphamide, which is used in most breast cancer treatments, in the next day, a quarter of it will come out as active chemical. This is a proven carcinogen for decades of human and animal study. And, unfortunately, more than 98% of cyclophosphamide passes right through the treatment. If you are in a septic system and you have received cyclophosphamide and been sent home, you will be destroying your septic system, contaminating your lab, land, and contaminating your well. So what PharmaCycle has done is come up with a system that allows the patients to go home. And we will deliver this nice little box to them. But what's inside the box is a whole, all the materials that we need to create a cocoon around themselves. So that on those two days, to, to two to five days, all their bodily waste, and unfortunately that means urine, feces, vomit, but also sweat and saliva. So if you will, if you eat with your, your family's dishes and put it in the dishwasher, you contaminate all the dishes that are in there. So we give you disposable straws and disposable forks and spoons and knives. We give you disposable sheets. But what you'll also do, oh, here we go. Here's the, begin, the reaction's beginning. It just takes it, and, and as it goes along, it just, it's quite of a neat reaction. <laughs> it's just kind of good fun. This nothing in here is dangerous. That I've used is a very red a d red dye that stains everything. Is how impossible to get rid of. But as you can see, the reagent not only is getting all rid of the liquid, it's destroying the red dye. Here's one that we did a little while ago. As you can see, all the dye is gone. It's been destroyed by the reaction. And what happens is, in within, like we give urinals, and these are for use in toilets. There's a, 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 a frame that hangs in it. But as far as the patient knows, they do their business in it. They cap it. And then the reaction just goes automatically. But we give them all kinds of other things, like you sweat it out. So as you go around and you touch surfaces in your house, you're leaving these drugs. So we give the patients cotton gloves so they can wear. And when they get dirty, they just throw them in the box. When they're done with their, their danger days, we will come and get the box out of the house. And this is where really the cost of the, the process is, but the patient doesn't need to know that. It's all included. All this material must be buried in a chemical landfill because we must keep these chemicals away from water or we just are going to end up with a lot of contamination. And there's a real problem in certain areas like on Cape Cod. They see in the fish that are just in houses, they're surrounded by houses with septic systems, they're having levels of tumors that are high, higher than anything else in the U.S. These are some really contaminated waters in other places in the U.S. And unfortunately, the fish are showing damage that's worse than many of them. And we do not know what's causing it. However, the damage is seen in these fish is very much like what has been seen in, in these fish when they've been injected with cyclophosphamide. That same one that a quarter comes out and 98% of it passes through our wastewater treatment. So that's why we call it the family safe system. It's, our goal is to help keep the families safe. We want the patients to be able to receive their life-saving chemo and not have to worry that when they're doing it, they're actually causing cancer in their children and their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren.